Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another week in the lovely United Kingdom. And this week brings a brand new supercar, the Celine S1. It's a supercar you probably haven't heard of before. I will explain why, but all you need to do to unlock it is to achieve 50% in the spring season so it shouldn't actually take you that long. However, before we get into that, the Forza-thon shop for the week. Yeah, I'm cars. And we will also check out the Horizon backstage, which a bunch of you guys pointed out to me. I can actually do from the pause menu. So, oh. Oh, that, that, that's more like it. I guess without further ado, let's go bang out 50% in the spring season and unlock the Celine S1. Before we get into that though, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video and that's our friends over at LG. Last month here on the channel, I made an entire video showcasing this, our brand new LG OLED C1 TV. We showcased all of the super cool features like the self-lit OLED panel, the insane gaming modes and how crazy crazy thin this TV is. Just recently though, LG actually brought out the LG OLED A1 TV, which has a bunch of the same features as my C1 TV, but at a more accessible price point. It still has that self-lit OLED panel. It can do 4K at 60 Hertz and a bunch of other really, really awesome features. So if you wanna check out the LG OLED A1 TV, Click the link in my description and go check it out now. Thank you so much to LG for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Season completed, 50% done. The Celine S1 is officially ours. Let's go. It feels so weird to be jumping into one of these again. For those of you who don't know, this thing, the S5S Raptor, was one of like my favorite cars from my childhood. Anyways though, so this is the Celine S1. It has 450 horsepower, 442 foot pounds of torque, all coming from a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. That is just insane. Not to mention the fact the Celine S1 is also made of carbon fiber. So it only weighs 2,600 pounds. Anyways, let's give this thing a go, bone stock, and see what it can do. And then I want to do some Forza Horizon 4 customization because I have some ideas for the little Celine S1. The Celine S1, as per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without saying this wouldn't be an AR12 video if there weren't any fun facts. That's what I like to call factception. Anyways, so for those of you who don't know, Celine S1. As you probably heard in the past, Celine's made some pretty cool cars. They're most famous for taking Ford Mustangs and doing some upgrades to them. After the Celine S7 exploded in popularity, uh, Celine had a little bit of a problem. Long story short, they sort of kind of went bankrupt. It was reported that at one point in the Celine bank account, they, they had $7,000. Celine nearly got deleted. Eventually, they were able to recover from that where they produced the Celine S1. Celine built the Celine S1 with two goals in mind. One, they wanted to start a Celine S1 like cup race where they would have like a race car version of this and they would sell them to rich people to go racing on the weekend. And they also built the Celine S1 to sell to people to drive it on the road. That didn't go so well for Celine either because um, after all of my extensive research, I couldn't actually find a single Celine S1 that they sold to actual people. Long story short, I think Celine is going to go bankrupt soon. So if you'd like a cool sports car, the Celine S1 costs 100 grand. It's also not very fast and sounds like a rally car because of the four cylinder engine. Contrary to popular belief, I actually love the Celine S1 because I love the idea of these small little super lightweight. You don't need a massive engine in your car, but designed to go around the corners. I love things like this, but 
We have to ask ourselves, what do we want to do with it first? Let's take a look at our engine swaps. Okay, we've got our four cylinder, 450 horsepower engine, a three liter V8 racing engine. Oh, Twitch chat saying it's from the Ariel Atom. That is super, super cool. A racing V12 engine and a racing V6. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed we can't swap in the 7 liter V8 from the Selena S7. We actually save weight. Look at that. 2,700 pounds down to 2,400 pounds. That is insane. Anyway, so I'm thinking we should do an S1 class race build to start things off. I guess we'll also get some all-wheel drive, so we'll be super quick in the corners. Twin turbo our new V8 engine. This thing's gonna be sick. Do we actually want, like, a front splitter and stuff as well? Are we actually turning this thing into the Celine S1 cup car? I think we are. This is gonna be sick. We've even got engine spacers. Let's go. That's awesome. We upgrade our brakes from those yellow Celine ones to some red racing brakes. That takes us to the top of S1 class. We can get race suspension, rally suspension, and drift. That is so cool. We'll obviously need to come back and keep working on all of our upgrades, but this is so cool. We can even... 2,100 pounds? So, uh, the Selene S1 is actually scary fast. I think we're looking good now. For our first build S1 class, we've got 622 horsepower. We weigh 2,500 pounds. And last but not least, before we hit the open road... We've got a couple of different paint options, and because it's Celine and they don't have very much money, we only have three. No more four-cylinder means... We sound like a proper race car now. All right, let's go find a racetrack for this thing. Maybe something with quite a number of corners. Hardest difficulty in the game? Yes, we're going up against the Jag concept car. Although the Celine S1 isn't a concept car, considering that it... It doesn't really exist. It might as well still be a concept. Okay. Could everybody stop just blocking me? Anyways, that all-wheel drive makes it so, so grippy off the line. And even grippier in the corners. I wonder how it is on the brakes. Look at the Ferrari jumping to the inside. What a nice car. What a... The one area where it lacks is in the power department. Even though we've got 660 whatever horsepower, it is considerably less than all of these guys, but I can take these corners flat near enough. All of the AI is gonna break heavily right there. Can I catch up? Catch up, catch up, get him, get him, got him. I'll take it. I'll take it. That was pretty sick. I'll take the P3. I mean, if you think about it, right? We went out with the intention of building a cup car. That definitely feels like a cup car. What an amazing car. Like, for real. That is super, super cool. But, I mean, I'm so intrigued by wanting to turn this thing into a drag car. I want to see how stupid fast we can make it. So... We're going try hard now. Engine swap. We're going with our racing V12 engine. That is going to be so powerful. We've already got all wheel drive. I'm going to twin turbo this engine already up to nearly 900 horsepower. I will get some drag racing tires on here, which for some reason doesn't actually boost my acceleration or my launch in terms of my stats, which is a a bit strange. Anyways, we're also gonna get some lightweight rims for the extra tryhard. After all of our upgrades this time around, 2,190 pounds. 1,100 horsepower. That is insane. Of course the game puts me up against a Focus and an Audi. That is so much grip. That is insane. It almost doesn't have enough horsepower to deal with the amount of grip it has. Look how low it is as well. That's so cool. An 8.1 second quarter mile. I would imagine with some proper tuning, you could probably get that into a 7.9. I really want to do a max upgraded build on the Celine. Let's get some racing tires on this thing. 
Look at those stats now. Look at that handling and that breaking. After all of our upgrades, we are X class. 2,300 pounds, 1,200 horsepower. This is gonna be a rocket ship now. Yes, sir. We're against the other sea of gray, black, and white vehicles. Let's go, Selene. This thing's gonna be quick now. This is fully upgraded. X class. I don't even need to slow down for corners. You guys are just too slow. Way too slow. Late on the brakes, up the inside. What a vehicle. Definitely gets a little bit of understeer. I can tell you that right off the bat. But that's not slowing it down. That is so, so sick. This thing actually reminds me so much of the Rossian Q1. This small little lightweight shed built car that nobody ever really heard of before. And then you get it in the game. You do a couple of upgrades to it. And suddenly it's a rocket ship. Like, what's the point of having AI in this game if they can't keep up with this? I'm not even joking how this car is OP. Let's just, let's wait a second. And there they are. There are the AI. What is that, like 20, 30 seconds behind me? You know what's the craziest part about this thing? Is that it's just, it's easy to drive. It has so much grip and so much downforce. Anybody could drive this thing. Twitch chat's been going off since the start of this that this thing is an amazing drift car. Ken Block Sean has a godlike drifting tune. Mika has a drift adventure tune. I think I'll start with Mika's tune and see how we go. If you know what this paint job is, well played. You watch the videos. Anyways, let's see if this thing has what it takes to do some drifty stuff. I love that light bar on the rear there. It looks like a Porsche so much. And now with this tune, yeah, we can drift. Wait, was that a new? Huh? I just got a new personal best. <laughs> on my first attempt. If I can take down my personal best there, then why don't we come over here? This is one of the drift circuits that I run when I want to see if my cars are actually good. 130,000. I'm on the handbrake and the gas at the same time. I need to take this with way more speed. And in second gear, this car drives way, way nicer in second gear. So I've learned that. Okay, okay. That's not a bad run, though. 110,000 nearly. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was like the perfect run nearly. 5,000 points off. What an awesome, awesome car, like for real. L like I said, right at the start of this, I love these Celines. The S5S was one of my childhood favorite cars. And, and this thing's just so insane as well. Love it, absolutely love it.